guys, welcome back to my channel. So I didn't plan on filming this morning, but it's like a really hot summery day and I don't like to go super heavy with my makeup on those days. So I wanted to talk about one of my favorite products from the place I work. I work at MAC. I feel like I have a hair in front of my eyeball. For those of you who have been following me for a while, I've been working for MAC for about a year and I actually just moved from a freelancer to a permanent position and I'm really excited about it. So that's my way of telling you guys, very exciting. Um, I love my job so much. YouTube and MAC are like my two my two babies, but I'll always be here for you guys, so don't worry. Before anything happens, like people want to know this kind of, um, I'm not getting paid to promote MAC products or like I'm not only going to be using MAC products or anything like that. So. I don't know, I just wanted to kind of clear that up because there's a lot of like confusion about that, but honestly I just love MAC products and anything that I personally like love and want to show you guys that I, you know, buy on my own, I will just show you guys. So when I was working a few months ago, my boss showed me how to use this. This is everything. It's the Studio Conceal and Correct Duo. Like, there's a lot of products that people see and they're immediately just like kind of nervous to try it because it's like, whoa, that's yellow. Whoa, that's peachy. Like, but color correcting is like so much fun. And mind you, like I said, it's really hot, so I have my AC on low again, and I'm really sorry if it's annoying. I will melt if I don't have that on right now. So this is the second to lightest color. It's the mid peach and mid yellow. They have one lighter than this if you're more fair. This works really well for me in the summer while I'm kind of tan. And um, yeah, they have darker shades as well, so they have a little bit of everything. But as I was saying, on hotter days, I just, I don't want to have to wear like a full on foundation. Um, I'll either wear like a little bit of concealer and powder or throw in a little bit of a CC cream over this, kind of just depending on my mood for the day. And I'm just running errands today so I don't need to look hashtag flawless today. So the yellow side is the one I use for my hyperpigmentation or any red spots because it helps to neutralize redness. Green and yellow will neutralize that. If you ever want to know how to neutralize, just look at the color wheel and go across from the color you're trying to conceal and correct and that's how you can do it. And then the mid, pe mid peach yellow, mid peach, mid peach, mid. This side I use to cover any under eye bagginess and I don't know, this product just works awesome for me and I, when I first saw it I was like, I don't know if I wanna try that on my face because I'm not a huge concealer person. I've talked about that on my channel. The only time I really use concealer is for my under eye area but I want to show you guys how I use this today. So I'm gonna start with the yellow side. It just kinda comes like this. I'm just gonna dab it over my red spots. Oh, and I already primed and used my moisturizer and stuff. Um, my primer that I'm loving right now is the Jouer Anti-Blemish Matte Primer. I already did that. <laughs> I always recommend using a primer, guys, just to, just to kind of, you know, protect your skin. So I'm just covering up, like, the red spots on my cheeks and anywhere I kind of have that redness and hyperpigmentation. You know, it looks, like, crazy right now, but you just wait girlfriend you just wait I'm gonna take my damp beauty blender which looks dirty I just cannot get it to look clean at this point I've had it forever I should get a new one and I'm just gonna kind of start to blend that out you can blend out with like a clean finger too if you want but like look how it just neutralizes that redness like it's literally like it tones it down so much like if you don't feel like going hardcore and going like full coverage foundation and you just want to cover up any redness, like this is just amazing. And like everybody's so intimidated by the yellow and you might still see like a slight yellow undertone if the shade's like not right for you or um, if it's not like fully blended out, but it just does such a good job at neutralizing redness. Like I know my skin is not anywhere near perfect, but um, like it just it tones it down so much so it just looks a little bit less harsh and um, sometimes I will go ahead and do more it's gonna take a little bit more it's mostly my cheeks but like literally even just that first coat changed so much and I'll kind of just take the excess that's on my sponge and kind of just take it any other places that look like just a little bit of a hint of red my hair is making me head tilt a lot. And you can see how much of that redness is neutralized now. I am gonna set with um, a full coverage powder from MAC after that, but um, so it will kind of help that little bit of yellow go away. But now I'm gonna take the mid peach to conceal my under eye area. And that little bit of peach is what really helps to color correct any like purpley undertones or any dark bags. It gives like a really full coverage, but it doesn't feel heavy. Neither of these feel 
really heavy. Sorry, I just like lost my train of thought. And I'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender again and blend those out. As you can see, it makes like such a difference in brightening up the under eye area. And if there's any bit of yellow tone, just going over it with like a little bit of powder or a BB or CC cream, um, we'll just finish that off. It's just really helpful to color correct that redness first. So I'm just gonna take some of my Studio Fix NC25 powder and I'm just going to pat that over just to give a little bit of coverage, but nothing too heavy. My skin still looks like super natural. Um, you can still see my skin really, you know? It's not like it's covering up everything. It's just a bit of a, a lighter, more like summery makeup routine. And a huge tip I can tell you if you have a lot of spots or hyperpigmentation or acne, by pressing the powder into your skin, it doesn't move away that concealer or foundation and then the spots will show if you kind of rub it away. So try your best to push and pat into the skin. And look how good my skin looks now but it only requires just some concealer and a little bit of powder and you're good to go. It's not not as heavy too, like it doesn't feel like I have anything on my skin right now. Cause it's just sometimes using a full coverage foundation for like a whole face just can feel really heavy. It's just nice to fix those spots, set it with powder and you're good to go. And a lot of you guys also know probably if you use the Studio Fix powder, it's really great to set it with the Fix Plus spray. It gets rid of any powdery residue and it just looks a little bit more natural. So I just finished up with some bronzer and blush because I feel so naked without bronzer and blush. Um, but that's kind of just my quick little way of concealing my problem areas and not having to wear like full coverage foundation because, you know, I don't always wear full coverage foundation. I mean, I often do when I'm filming, but on like easy breezy summer days, this is pretty much what I do to my skin and that product has like been amazing for just those quick easy days. So I hope this was helpful in any way to you guys and anyone who wants to just... I don't even know where I was going with that. <laughs> I'm such a bad YouTuber. <laughs> but if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys so soon. I love you guys. Peace out. I need that. Ugh. God, I'm not like a good... I don't even know what I'm saying today. All right, I need to go. All right, bye. <laughs>